What is up you guys? Today I'm sharing what is in my Disney park bag for my newly potty trained toddler. Now that we are officially out of diapers, I can no longer call this bag my diaper bag. So it's just a park bag. Before we jump into me showing you how I plan to pack up this park bag for a newly potty trained three year old, I'm so excited to share about the brand new Petunia Picklebottom collection, Winnie the Pooh Friendship in Bloom. So they were kind enough to send me their brand new Method backpack, which is one of my favorite styles. And this print, you guys, I'm so excited about this print. It is so adorable, as well as the train case. So I'm gonna dive into both of these and show you how you can use these bags for your Disney trip. And then we'll jump into packing it up and getting it park ready. Okay, so I have shared about my love for the Method backpack here on my channel before. I just think this is a great backpack for any season of life, whether you have an infant that you are packing up a diaper bag for, or you're like me and you have a newly potty trained toddler, or maybe you are well past the toddler years and you just need a really quality backpack for the Disney parks. This checks all of the boxes. So let me dive into some of the features of this bag. All right, I'm gonna start with showing you the Method backpack and then we'll move into the train case. So the first thing about the Method backpack, of course, this print, how cute. You have Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, Eeyore. Oh, I love this print so much. And I love that it's gender neutral. I mean, Oh, so cute. Okay, the first thing on the exterior of this bag, you have this adorable coin purse with Piglet and Pooh. Of course, you could take this off, but I just think it's so adorable. And then what I love most about the Method backpack is all of the exterior pockets. You guys, <laughs> I love this bag so much for that very reason. When you are a mom and you have a million and one things in your hands, it's so nice to have pockets that are just easily accessible to stuff things in when you are out the door. It's so nice. I typically keep these empty for that very reason because when I'm trying to get in and out of the car, it's just really great having a spot to put random things. And then it does have two insulated cup holders, so one on each side, and they actually work really well. This will keep my daughter's water bottle cool pretty much all day long. And I'll show you a little bit later how our 16 ounce water bottle fits into this. It's so perfect. And then you have this top pocket up here, which is a really good size, I mean, you know, it's perfect for your phone. I put lip gloss up here, keys, you know, I mean, you could use this pocket for anything, but love that it's just right on top, really easily accessible. And then flipping it around to the back, you have another hidden pocket back here, which again is a really great size. You could fit your phone, your keys, you know, anything else in there. Then I love the straps on these bags. It's almost like this memory foam material. It's really comfortable if you're needing to wear this for a full day at Disney. These straps are surprisingly comfortable. And then it does have the D-rings if you want to attach this bag to your stroller like I do. This collection does come with really cute stroller hooks if that's something you wanna throw in with your order. This is so cute that you can have a little matching set with it. I love that, but I love that it has the D-rings. Okay, now moving on to the interior of the bag. First off, the interior print. Oh, I love this so much. It's so cute. First thing here is this top pocket, which again, I love the pockets. So another really great size for your phone, keys, lip gloss. Love that it has that additional pocket right there. And then on the inside, you have this mesh lining. Let me see if I can get a good angle here. Okay, there we go. So you can see it has the mesh lining, this big pocket in the back, and then the bottle holders on each side. So I love the organization piece to this. And then it does come with this changing mat. So I will say, even though we are out of the diaper phase, 
I still plan to keep this in our bag. This is so perfect if we are waiting on a parade to start and I want my toddler to sit in one spot. I can tell her, hey, sit on the Winnie the Pooh mat and that's gonna be your parade spot. She is very much a rule follower and if I tell her that you can sit on the mat, she will stay on the mat. So that is one way you could use this. Another way is if it has just rained and you are wanting to sit on a bench, <laughs> this is a really great thing to just sit underneath you. That way you aren't getting all wet when you sit down on a chair or a bench or whatever. So lots of uses for this little changing mat outside of you know, diaper changes. I mean, this is really, really great to have no matter what stage of life you're in with your little one. And I love the slick material on this. Again, if you have a spill or anything on the interior, it's this slick material that you can just wipe down. So it's really easy to keep clean, but that is what I love about the Method Backpack. I love this so much. All right, moving on to the train case. I love how versatile this piece is. So it's that beautiful leather print, you know, same thing. I love this so much. But when you open it, the interior is that same really cute Winnie the Pooh print. And then you have lots of pockets and organization in here. So just off the top of my head, you could use this for a dozen different things. You could use this as a toiletry bag. You could use this as your makeup bag. You could even use this as a packing cube. I thought about using this for my toddler's clothes and you can fit little leggings and um, socks and things in here. Um, you know, I mean, all kinds of stuff. You could also use this as a snack bag. I mean, traveling, again, I love how versatile this piece is. You could use it for really anything. So I love that this is part of the collection. So definitely check it out down below. I'll have it linked as well as my discount code and I'll have all the details in the description box. So let's go ahead and move into how I plan to pack up this bag for our park day with a newly potty trained toddler. All right, now let's dive into everything that I plan to pack in this backpack for my newly potty trained toddler. A lot of this does look very similar to how I would pack a diaper bag. I'm just switching out the diapers and changing pad for a couple of other items. So let me start with some of the items that are pretty much the same no matter what stage your toddler's in. First item is my meal bag. Now I have shared about this meal bag so many times at this point. I think this is a crucial piece <laughs> to doing any kind of meal at Disney with your toddler, whether it's quick service, table service, this is so nice to have. So what I have in here is stick on placemats that you can actually color on. So I do have my own crayons down here at the bottom because obviously at quick service locations, they're not going to provide any kind of crayons or activities for your kids there. So I always have some ready to go. I also have a bib that I can fold down. I mean, it's like a piece of paper almost, but it's that slick material that I can just wipe off, fold back up and put back into our meal bag. I also have some Play-Doh, just another activity that my toddler can do while we're waiting on our food. And then I also have our own little Mickey spoon and fork in here as well. So this is our meal bag. This comes with us everywhere, even here at home. It's not just for Disney. So this is the first thing that I plan to pack in this bag. The next thing of course is snacks. This stays fully stocked all day long. I normally have to restock this when we go back to our room midday for nap time because we just fly through snacks all day. And when your toddler is burning that much energy, snacks are a must. Next is water wipes. These are so nice to have for sticky fingers and just after any meal, you just always wanna have wipes on hand. Again, no matter what stage your toddler is in, you need wipes. And then the next item, we actually discovered this on our most recent trip. This is an LED coloring tablet. So you can use your finger, but it comes with this little pen up here as well. And you can color, draw pictures, and then you just click the button. It erases it and she can start over. This entertained my toddler more than any other activity <laughs> that I've ever even attempted with her at Disney. This was so amazing. We used this on the bus rides, anytime we were using any kind of Disney transportation and you're just sitting there waiting, this came out. <laughs> as well as being pushed around in the stroller. A lot of times when we're walking around Epcot, around the World Showcase, she's spending a lot of time in the stroller more so than other parks. So it's nice to be able to hand her something like this and she still can stay somewhat 
busy in her stroller and she's not just being bored and you know shouting I want out I want out the whole time we're walking around Epcot so I highly recommend these LED coloring tablets they are amazing the next little pouch I have here is feminine products so I always make sure I have these on hand and then I also have this small pouch as well. And this has a lot of little odds and ends that I don't keep in my little mom fanny pack. So what I keep in my fanny pack, and I'll link that video below if you wanna check that out as well. But what I keep in there is my phone, my wallet, a lip gloss, and a couple of little toy trinkety things for my toddler if we're waiting in line. So that's what stays in my mom fanny pack that stays with me at all times. But in this little pouch, I have other little things. So I have, right now I have our magic bands, me and my daughters. I have this little spray hand sanitizer. I have some Tylenol. I keep our little first aid kit bag back in the room just because, you know, Disney parks have a first aid center, so I'm not needing to bring, you know, everything with me to the parks, but I do like to have just a little Tylenol on hand. It's just nice just in case you don't have to trek all the way to the first aid center in case you need something. And then I also have a couple of other little lip glosses, lip balms, you know, always nice to have options. And then right now I have my AirPods in here because I haven't switched this out from our airplane travel, but I wouldn't typically take these to the parks. This would be specifically for airplane travel and how I would pack up this bag. But you know, I don't know, maybe you might need these at the park, maybe. All right, so that little pouch goes. And these last couple of items are specific to potty training. So this first pouch is my newly potty trained emergency kit. <laughs> well, maybe not emergency, just newly potty trained necessities. So the first thing I have in here is an extra outfit and underwear. I also have this wet dry bag. So in case my toddler does have an accident, I have somewhere to put her wet clothes. That way I'm not having to put some wet yucky outfit into our park bag. No, thank you. So a wet dry bag is a must. That way we can just come back to the room later and I can take care of the mess when we get back. But that way it's secure and everything is contained in a wet dry bag. And then the last thing in here are these flushable wipes. So I figured this would make my toddler so much more comfortable, just especially in these early months of being newly potty trained. I feel like this is just, again, gonna make her so much more comfortable. So that is everything that is in my little potty training pouch. <laughs> and the last item, this is probably the most important <laughs> item for a newly potty trained toddler. It comes in this really nice little drawstring bag, but it's this portable potty seat. So it folds up really tiny and then it has suction cups on the back, which is amazing. So whether you are in your resort hotel room or you can take this with you to the parks. So this is just the item that comes with us everywhere. <laughs> It has made going to the bathroom in public restrooms so much more approachable <laughs> for my toddler as compared to sitting her up on this giant toilet. It's just a lifesaver. So I like that it comes in this little bag. That way I can wipe it down <laughs> when we get home or back to our resort. Um, and I'm not just putting this potty seat that I just suctioned to a toilet back into my park bag. <laughs> That sounds so gross. That way I can put it into this little bag and then I can sanitize it when we get back to our room. So this is a must, but I love, again, I love that it has the little bag and I can just slide it right down into our park bag and it's so easy to pull out. You know, I'm not having to take the entire you know, park bag with us, I can just pull this out and take my toddler to the restroom. Oh, and the last thing I forgot is my toddler's water bottle. So this is a 16 ounce stainless steel water bottle and I wanted to show you how easy this fits in the pocket. So it slides right down in there and like you saw, these are insulated, so it fits perfectly. All right, well that's everything that's inside my Disney park bag for my newly potty trained toddler. I hope this was helpful seeing how I plan to pack our park bag. It's still really weird <laughs> not saying diaper bag. I'm probably gonna continue calling it a diaper bag for a while <laughs> until I can get used to the fact that it's not a diaper bag anymore. <laughs> and again, make sure to check out this new collection with Petunia Picklebottom. This print is adorable. So I will have everything linked down below as well as my discount code. So make sure to check them out. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.